So if you have been following the videos, um, we should have quite an advanced website now. We've got a, a website that has got a layout in tables. It's got some buttons down the side that link um, images in it, an animated banner. It will have a video in there as well. And you will also have internal links, so links within your website and external links, so to pages that are outside of your website. So the last um, bit we're going to do is something a little bit more advanced, which is adds interactivity to our web page. So interactivity is where the user can actually do something. In a way, a video is interactivity because you can click it, you can pause it, you can rewind it, but we don't always look at it that way. We're going to look at adding in what we call a user form, so a contact form. So on a lot of websites, you may have seen these, probably on most websites you've seen them, where you can type in information and send it to somebody else. Uh, so I'm going to say for my website that actually you can sign up to the club online and email me and tell me that, yep, yeah, you're going to sign up for a club. So I'm going to put here in bold, sign up below, and create my form. The way I do that, firstly, I need a section for the form. So I click on insert, I go to form, and I click form. And I need to give the form a name. So my form, I'm going to put, I'm going to call sign up. It's best not have spaces. Uh, my URL is going to be my email address so that it emails it to me. What the URL does is it will send the information that you type into the form to a website or to an email address. So I'm putting in my email address. Now, if I just put in my email address, it won't work. It'll think that's a website. So I have to write mail to so mail like um sort of post sort of mail to as in mail to so mail it to this person and then a colon so the dot above the dot uh, no spaces and then i can put my email address in So there we go, that's my email address. Your email addresses will be the same. They will, but they will be your username. Okay, as I'm a teacher, I've got initial dot last name. You'll have sort of the first four letters of your first name and the first four letters of your last name uh, at stolivesyork.org.uk. So it's your username at stolivesyork.org.uk. And the method is post. I want to post that mail to myself. We can ignore the rest of that. Okay, so time will post it to ourselves and click OK. Now what you get is a light blue dotted line. So that is your form area. So anything inside that, when you send it, that's the information it will take. So if you decide to put a section you can fill in, like a text box or a drop down menu, outside of there it won't send that information. So once we're there, we can select inside it. And what you will notice, it kind of resets the colours, so you've got to remember to put the colours back to what you wanted, particularly for your writing, which is quite annoying. Um, and it it also, if I put an in, put something into it, it gets rid of the form, which is really, really annoying. Okay, So it's really, really vital you do this. You press the Enter key to get onto a second line. If you don't do that, your dot, dotted section will disappear. I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to go back to there. I'm going to go insert form and I've got some different options here. So I'm going to put um, a label in, let's say. I'm going to put the word test in just to show you. When I click OK, it's got rid of my form. OK, so if I go into it, I click return, go into the second line. Now if I was to insert something, so I'm going to insert a label again. Notice and get rid of it. Okay, the form is still there. I'm actually going to undo that because I don't want a label. Uh, the next really important thing is is this: is that it won't uh, tell the user what to type in the box if you put boxes or information in. So you have to add that in yourself. So what we do. We go insert form and we choose our different options. Now there's there's these different options here. 
and we've got inputs here so a URL a text whatever whatever okay you can use these different ones like searching and that they're specialist but the major ones you want are text input fields which allow you to write something in so if I had a text input field in uh, name is the name of the field so I'm going to call this name because I want it to be the person's name value is what will appear okay as default box so I could put enter your name and then after that we don't really need to worry about anything else so if we click OK it will say enter your name in that box if I run that in my web browser you see the dotted line's gone but there's now a section if I click in there I can delete that out and I can put my name into the box I can't do anything with it at the moment but I can put my name in that is one way that you can add the information in the other way is by writing so if I change my text color to white again because it's reset itself which is annoying I could write name and if you notice it will appear after it which is really really annoying and it's quite hard to get it back in front and do what you want it to do okay it goes above if you look on there so you have to start playing about with the different different features so it's better in this case hit delete and I put it up but it's better to put that section in first if you want that in okay so I'm going to put name enter your name so the next one I want to say what year they're in so I am going to write the word year because like I said put it in first it makes life easier and then I'm going to add option in the option I'm going to add in is I'm going to add a drop-down menu so if I go insert form and I go uh, selection list okay that will give me a list to select from so I'm going to put the name of this one I'm going to put in year and then my options this is where I can put in my list of things I'm going to put plus after and I'm going to put the label it's going to put be J1 and my value um, is going to be J1 now the reason for that is that label is what will appear to the user the value is what will be sent and that will add it so I'm going to plus again after an option two again after an option it does get a little bit after a while J3 so on and so forth okay and we'll just leave it at those for the moment and now I've got a drop down list so when I run this I've now I can type the name in and I can select from a list a bit of information as well okay so the next thing that we're going to do is put in a question we used to do before and I'm going to have buttons that they can tick which say yes or no so if I insert form then what I can do here is have go to the one the field set so we'll go to form, we'll go inputs, and now we can have a radio button. Okay, so a radio button is a button that will allow them to click one thing or the other. So I'm going to put name, I'm going to say quick code, I'm going to put the value, yes. Okay, and that will just do a little dot there, then I'm going to write yes after it okay, and now I've got a button that they can click I'm going to do the same again so insert form and put a, another radio button in it needs to have the same name this one and that will 
add it in. Okay, I'm running about out of time, but we'll go on to it in the next video.